11:15 on this Saturday evening, everybody. Pair of fours are recorded right now at Cleveland Hopkins Airport, and overall, we're expecting for another chilly night here across Northeast Ohio, courtesy of high pressure. We have a strong west wind coming in right now, so any sort of clouds that are sticking around are beginning to wave goodbye, and that will allow our temperatures to subdue and subside overnight tonight. Widespread frost advisory, with the exception of you can see Erie, Huron, and also Lorraine, Cuyahoga County, even Lake County, overnight tonight begins at 1 a.m. goes through about 9 a.m. So this means that we're likely going to have surface temperatures, if at all, in the mid to upper 30s across the region. Most areas will be safely there by the time we get to sunrise tomorrow. There's our area of high pressure, which is responsible for bringing us all that beautiful sunshine we saw today. There's our next cold front that will be sliding across the area over the next 24 to 36 hours. It's already precipitating. You can see some snow showers back over towards Canada, over towards Ontario, a little bit of mixed precipitation, even extending even farther over to the north and also to the east. 40s across the Midwest right now. It's low 50s were for Chicago, 41 in St. Louis, uh, Nashville, even coming in about 51 degrees as well. This is all indicative of that deep trough we've been talking about. It's over the past few days that so it's been sinking south across the region, bringing with it all this cold air. Breezy winds will continue over the next 24 to 36 hours before they start to come down as well. We already have 30s popping up on the map. Worcester at 36 degrees, 36 for Dover. Look at this Mansfield down to about 39 degrees, and I think Elyria, you're going to be slipping into the upper 30s very shortly. Widespread temperatures are roughly about 5 to 10 degrees behind the eight ball than they what they were yesterday because we've had these clearing skies. Of course, as I said before, clearing skies, certainly with high pressure. When you get these cold air masses coming in that allow temperatures to fall. So here's what we're expecting overnight tonight. Again, cold sticking around the region will be chilly for at least for the most part. 5 a.m. temperatures, upper 30s across the region. Akron Canton at about 37 degrees. A few clouds will be blowing on through overall for tomorrow morning, and I think we'll have some filtered sunshine moving back in. But mainly sunny skies around 1, 2 p.m. If you're coming down for the Browns game tomorrow, it'll be around 60 degrees, 60, 61 degrees. With that strong southwest wind, it could be likely feeling like the low 60s, perhaps even the mid 60s once we move into the afternoon hours and then we'll have a blanket of cloud cover coming in late Sunday night heading into early Monday. This is where our next frontal boundary is coming on in. We'll have temperatures slightly warmer for Monday morning as opposed to tomorrow morning with mild conditions around the 50 degree mark for Monday to start. We'll have more sunshine in Monday afternoon and I think once we get to Tuesday and even heading towards Wednesday, we start to turn things up a notch here, and we likely have got some upper 60s to even 70s coming back into the focus. Mainly clear overnight tonight, 38 degrees expected here in the city. You can see the CLE coming in at about 64 degrees, nice and balmy for tomorrow. The Chargers coming into town versus the Browns, cool and breezy, as I said before, sunny skies and 60 degrees can be recorded. You can see there at kickoff. Low 60s widespread for tomorrow as well. Check this out in your Union Home Mortgage 10 day outlook. Temperatures climbing towards 70 degrees Tuesday, Wednesday, mostly cloudy skies, few showers lingering through Thursday with the next frontal boundary taking us back into the 50s by Friday and Saturday and even next weekend. We look like we're going to be mild as well with cooler air following that.